Okay, this is Monday's devotion uh, for Lent in this fifth week, uh, and we will begin uh, from the writings of Henri Nguyen, and his selection is from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 4, selected verses from uh, Jesus uh, speaking uh, to those in the synagogue. In truth, I tell you, no prophet is ever accepted in his own country. And when those present heard this, everyone in the synagogue was enraged sprang to their feet and hustled him out of the town. And they took him up to the brow of the hill where their town was built, intending to throw him off the cliff, but he passed straight through the crowd and walked away. Jesus, the Christ, became a human being in a small uh, group of oppressed people, and this was during very trying circumstances Even though he was popular among the people, he was held in contempt by the rulers of his country and those in power. And of course, we know that he was put to death on the cross, crucifixion being a shameful form of execution. And according to the Gospel of Luke, he was placed between two criminals. So, Henri Nguyen says there's nothing spectacular about the life of Jesus um, if we just look at the day-to-day -day portions of his life. And despite the miracles, he often told people not to talk about what he had done. And in fact, the resurrection was known only to a few people, the disciples and a few men and women. And that news and spread from that uh, small group uh, after he was risen uh, from the dead by God. Now Christianity is one of the major world religions, but there's still this idea uh, that God is hidden. And that's so, a bit of a mystery because we're so focused on publicity that the more people know and talk about something, then the more important it must be. So this approach by Jesus seems to be uh, a bit of a paradox. God does not have to justify himself, is the conclusion that Henri Nguyen draws. People try to call God to account, mocking God, in this invitation to prove God's existence. But we are assuming that God has a great need of recognition as we do. But it is so often in the ordinary and in the everyday that God is revealed to us essentially in secrecy. And that is the paradox. But once we accept this, we begin to enter uh, our road and our journey to a fruitful spiritual life. Let us pray. Oh God, uh, we know that there are witnesses throughout the world, uh, those involved in the leadership of your church, but so much more are the men and women who have dedicated their lives to you to bring the light of the gospel into the darkness that surrounds us. We ask that you give them courage, strength, perseverance, and hope, and that you fill their hearts and minds with the knowledge of your presence. Let everyone experience your name and see you as the refuge from all danger. But most of all, give everyone the joy of your spirit so that it will bring new life to those who live in constant fear of death and destruction and the terrible news that often surrounds us. O oh God, be with us all. Amen.